Hi guys, it's Anelius and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're exactly where we left off last time. We're basically, yeah, we just completed here the Overgrown Ruins, which we got here on the map. And then of course from there, there's various different things we can do. Um, is that a dead end? I'm not sure. There's a path leading up from there. That seems to be leading somewhere. So maybe if we just follow our way through here. I just want to make sure we covered all the sections of this ship here. We don't leave anything open. To be honest, it looks like that's pretty much the, the end of things. There doesn't seem to be anything else we can do there as such. So we'll make our way out of here, up there. Is that another trap? Ooh, yeah, it's a, it's a spike trap. Yep, I probably should have jumped over that, shouldn't I? Yep. Right, let's do our long sleep now. So we're going to go to camp and we're going to do a long rest there, to be honest. Well, let's just go to camp. So, okay, once we're in camp, there's of course a bunch of different things we can do. And as you can see, Withers is right over here. Now, Withers is our in camp merchant we meet again i shall be here in thy camp okay for whenever thou hast need of my services be assured it is okay. not by choice a mending of the thread should thou or any of thy compatriots oh that's pretty cool i will cleave soul to body once more Okay. Um, okay. The strange. Well, how many powers he allows you to resurrect the higher level and change your class for a price, of course. So, what can I do? How do I actually go and use the shop facilities he's Although got? Although thou dost not seem to be in need of my services. There are many. I don't want to change class, but thank you. Question. None are important. Correct. No. Okay. Okay. And I had kind of hoped that he would be able to trade stuff for me with me. It's not to be, apparently. So let's go up here and let's speak to Shadowheart. I do need to find a... Lazel has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for a fine. What's on your mind? You're not the kind of cup And I haven't forgotten that you saved my life aboard the Nautoid. Perhaps I'll be able to return the favor at some... Okay. Cool. So that's fine for now. Now one of the things we actually haven't done yet, because this is the first time we're traveling here, this also is, of course, the first time we're actually able to look within here. So let's expand this. So there's a few, or actually a, a large number of items in here, to be honest. So what we should find in here is a special dagger as well. So as you can see, we got this uh, special clothing. Um... I was expecting to see things like a cape and such within here as well. I think you only get them once in total. So this is this shared, maybe? I'm a bit puzzled by that. Let's open up to what's in here. Ah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Needle of the Outlaw Rogue. So that basically does significantly more damage. Four to seven, it says. Or maybe it doesn't. Um, a dagger that thumbs with desire, a longing for vengeance. Needle of the outlaw rogue. So in your offhand it does less damage, which is kind of to be expected. Four to seven, so that's not impacting it at all. Bit of a pity as such, but okay. <laughs> yeah, it makes me look the way I was kind of expecting it to look. OK. 
Okay, anything else in here? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the loot here. Loot of the Merryweather Bard. Well, I don't have any loot skills as such. Not loot, but loot. Okay, other jewelry and such. All right. Yeah, a care of water. I can, of course, send this to camp. It, of course, gets all added into here now. We're still carrying quite a lot of stuff with us, as you can see. Might make sense for us to get rid of some of those excess clothing and that kind of stuff. To be honest, it might make sense for me to put them in here. And then put them in a bag. that one. Cool. It actually allows me to basically move it in its entirety. That uh, kind of makes sense. Okay, so what we wanted to do here, like I said before, we do want to do a long rest. Yes, we want to Restore all of our hit points and so forth. We're dressed slightly differently. Gale. Go to hell. <laughs> oh, no. Don't worry. Okay. Devils. What a different. Now we have. That's not abstract. Mm hmm. That's the spirit. Right. Where is the other young lady that we saw walking around earlier? A monster. Do you sub take your should a single Why are, are they walking around in their underwear, so to speak? Doing the rounds, are you? What were you two talking about? Mm-hmm. I see. I'd be careful with Gale. Okay. He's a wizard. All <laughs> Let's hope we run. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus. Good. We might even get luck. All right. That's all good. Is he willing to trade now, now that it's evening? Does that make a difference, maybe? Fate, although thou dost not seem to be in need of my services. Okay, so what can we do? How, how do we trade with this guy? Community poll? Nope, I don't want to do a community poll. Dialogue, history, attack. Gosh. Doesn't really get me far, does it? Right, so we need to spend enough stuff points here to actually get to the right level so that's 10 four four oh that's 10 in itself that's three two and three hold on Three, and two, full rest, nice. 
All right, we are all back in action, it looks like. And we can, of course, leave camp, go back to where we were just a second ago. All right, quick start, quick save, well, quick save, quick start. <laughs> so we're basically here at this location here. I'm gonna try to get on top of here to see if I can find anything. He's shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. Okay, dirt mound. Let's check out what we find in there. Most likely there is some chest in there, as you can see here already. Ooh. Mellow fruit dye. Combine this dye with an equipped item to alter the color of fabric, leather, and even. Okay, that's nice. Let's update our quick save. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break up our party into various different people separately. And um, everybody will sneak. Certainly. Assume nothing. Into the shadows. Not one false. Okay. Step carefully. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Off I go. Keep your distance, darling. Okay, let's uh, take this gentleman here. If I get slightly closer, just hurry this along. Come on, there we go. Open the bloody gate. Ah, that starts the encounter. It looks like that pack of goblins will be on us any second. What's going on? Goblins are on us. You let goblins hear, please. Okay. Sort of closing the gate in front of the people that were basically trying to get back in. And of course they need to defend themselves as such. There it is. Provoke the blade. The blade. How utterly lovely. Okay. We've got relatively low initiative with a lot of our characters which is a bit of unfortunate but okay I'll bleed every last one of you <laughs> like. yep that is never never nice actually level one that's level three he's level one as well he's level one Okay, let's backstab him. Okay, so that does a very large amount of healing to me, but if, in terms of damage, it doesn't do as much. Okay, so I've got a decent chance of hitting him. Um, my other characters here, they are in a different position in terms of initiative. So for now, I'm just going to have to basically play it with this character here. Really? That was really, really poor attack rolls. It must have been. Let us dash into there then. I'm ready. Do I need to click onto myself, really? Have to keep going. Okie dokie. Recite their demise. Oh. 
That would be an interesting one. One of them drops down and is now prone. There we go. One less here. That's still on his feet. Okay. Not really lovely. Thank you very much for that. Well, that shouldn't need that. Let's just do a normal attack here. Again, I miss. How the heck do I miss with something like that? Okay, okay. Lovely. Okay. Lucky that was a miss. Not enough movement, really. Must have an advantage against him. Right, 70, 60% there. I not kill him? No, really. Okay. On my way. Lovely. Okay, let's do this. I miss. Gosh. What kind of damage rolls do I do? Or attack rolls, maybe I should say. Two of them fall asleep. Great. Let's make my way down. Critical hit. Do I get XP for that? Doesn't seem to be that. I get an XP for that, which is a bit of a pity. Can I do a charge attack or something like that? Must take a short rest to replicate that again. Do I level up all my characters or just a select few of my characters? I'm not sure. They're still standing, which is good. Okie dokie. 
critical miss. Wow. Six damage. Yes, thank you very much. I miss? How, how the heck can I miss that? flanking him and even with the flanking attack like that I still miss which is crazy okie dokie so let's try we'll probably be able to make the save that's the problem it's a, oh, actually it's a dexterity save did I, did I kill him? yes it did We're still doing okay in terms of health points and such, so no concerns there. So what can I do? Nice. didn't die yet. Okay. Miss. Okay. Can do a sneak attack because I'm flanking him, and there we go. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. All right. No one left behind. Lizelle is inspired. We were able to rescue pretty much all of them, which is great. Let's group up again. A horde must have settled nearby. Look at this. Uh, we can send to camp. Send to camp. Let me take the rest with us. Oh, look at that. Gloves of power. Send the camp. On a melee hit, possibly inflict minus, uh, an additional 1d4 penalty to a target's attack roll and saving throw. Sly of hand gets a plus one. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Camp and camp. I'll just help myself. Okie dokie. Now one thing we've got now is of course to speak to the dead. As an option. I'll basically apply that to the... Uh... the guy there. Scroll of Greece. We can go to camp because we can sell that. This one we might be able to utilize. Send to camp, and we're gonna send that to camp as well. So we got this lovely character here. We pretty much emptied all of these pockets, but I'd like to have a word with this guy here. The corpse from really? Oh. That didn't help a bit, did it? Okay, I think we looted pretty much all of them. Including the bugbear, yes, we did do the bugbear as well. Yes, lovely. Let's actually do a level up. So it takes us to level three at this point. We're still a rogue. Uh, it automatically has chosen for me a subclass. I didn't have a choice. 
do I really went for Arcane Trickster, but do I want to go for Arcane Trickster? It's a good question. Maybe let's let's have a look at the other ones first. So she levels up, becomes a cleric. So she doesn't get to choose a subclass or anything of that sort. There's not much for me to do in terms of choosing stuff here. Except choose what is the prepared spells we want to have. Aid. Heal the ally. Heal your allies and increase their hit point maximum by five points. Well, that's interesting. Lesser restoration. Okay, so I got two slots of free now. Prayer of healing. Heal all allies you can see by a really good amount. Spiritual weapon, whole person. Um, silence is good against casters. And then we got blindness here. Let's do this one for now. Okay, so she's level three now. Let's go to Gale. Well, he's already chosen Evocation as being his main school. Six hits point extra, which is not bad. We can now choose which particular spells we want to have. I think Cloud of Daggers is always a good one. We're going to choose a second one. We can choose Knock. Or Person we already have with the other one. Blur, No Flaming Sphere, and Large Reduce. Invisibility, darkness, dark vision, detect dots. That's always interesting. If that stays with me. That's quite interesting, detect dots. But does that only apply to myself? Actually, Misty Step is a really, really good one. Okay. Gale has been done. Black, it's well be done. Uh, chosen subclass is Battle Master. Okay, so there's a choice available, but the preferred choice for her seems to be the Battle Master. And then we can choose a couple of maneuvers here. So race, we gain an additional spell, which is the jump option here which basically lasts for 10 turn and we can basically reset that with a long rest maneuvers ooh that's interesting um trip attack sweeping attack swing your weapon in rapid sweeping and arc to attack multiple enemies at once okay that's an interesting one i'd like to have so we can choose a total of three then we got here my maneuvering attack Spend a superiority die to make an attack that deals an additional 1d8 damage. So we got disarming attack, which is quite interesting as well. So an action, a different action still, but okay, that's good. You can evade attacks by imposing disadvantage on melee attacks against you for a round. Distracting strike, fainting attack, goading attack, deal an additional one the end, go to target into attacking you. Okay. So it's going to make an attack that deals an additional and it imposes frightens. Okay. Precision attack, you can spend it to add it to the attack roll. Eight temporary hit points, bolstering their resolve. Repost. It's a passive. When a hostile creature misses you with a melee attack, expend the spirit to, to retaliate with a powerful strike that deals. That is quite interesting. A repost. I think that is the mix we're going for. Keep so the response given by the characters is. Recast. Okay, hold on. Does it say recast? 
Okay. I'm not sure how to actually affect that or, or action that maybe I should say. Arcane Trickster is the default one we go for here. So we need to basically choose some cantrips that we think are useful for our class here. True Strike. Gain advantage on your next attack roll. Costs an action. Are any of these maybe a bonus action at all? No. Shocking Grasp. Yeah, interesting, but no, not exactly what I'm looking for. Bone chill. Intelligence. Is there, there, mm, okay. Poison spray. Yeah, let's go for poison spray. And what's the second one? Let's then do the true strike as an option there. The main spells here. Sleep, Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Uh, there is a Wisdom save against that. Then, of course, there's Disguise Self. Might fit in quite nicely with, of course, being a vampire. Mm -hmm. Expanded. What does that mean? You can add a wizard spell of your choice to your spellcaster repertoire. Ah, okay, that's interesting. That's a bonus action. You take no damage for magic missile. When you're about to be hit by an enemy, How often does that happen though? But then again, having a reaction spell at your disposal seems quite powerful. That's a bonus action. Expeditious Retreat. Long Strike. Until Long Rest. Okay. Magic Missile is quite interesting. Protection from Evil. Ice Knife. Yeah, the shield looks interesting, but if I read this more carefully, it doesn't really change anything as such. And it lasts until long rest. Okay. Okay, then why not? Let's go for that. Cool. So we've got our good mix of characters in here now. Subtle step. Let's make our way forward and see what we can actually get once we head in here. So we basically made it to the entrance here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually save the game and we're going to call it a day. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, subsequent, I think this is the fifth episode already of what we're basically doing here. But uh, yeah, have a great day and uh, see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.